Hello and welcome to this tips and techniques video from Master Your Photography. In this series we've carefully crafted a collection of short videos designed to provide you with key points on specific topics without any of the unnecessary waffle. Our goal is to give you practical information that you can immediately apply to your own photography. We understand that your time is precious, so we've condensed each video to deliver concise, actionable information. With our tips and techniques series, you'll gain the knowledge and the confidence to improve your photography in no time at all. So that's probably enough waffle, let's get started. As photographers, it's vitally important that we understand the technical side of things. But once we've mastered exposure and focus and lighting, then we can start to be more creative. And one of the more creative things we can do is start playing around with different perspectives and angles when we're shooting images. An approach that I find works really well is to first of all shoot what I call the standard view. So get that in the can first, then start to look for more interesting angles. Maybe get down low and look up at your subject, which will make it look more imposing, more dramatic. Or shoot along the length of your subject instead of shooting square onto it, so that it creates depth within the image. If you can introduce something that gives your subject a sense of scale, then that's also a really useful trick. If you also incorporate some backlighting to create a silhouette, then it makes for a really dramatic image. Here's another example, starting with the standard view of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, and then a slightly more dramatic angle with the camera almost on the road surface, wait for the right vehicle to come past, and then let's get right under the Arc de Triomphe and look directly up at it for a really graphic eye-catching image. If you then can find a higher viewpoint and look down on it, then we've covered all the angles. This trick of looking for different angles and different perspectives isn't just for outdoor subjects. Here's a picture of a gin and tonic. Now by changing our angle and looking directly down on it, and using a diagonal composition, we can create something that's much more dynamic. You can also play around with the distance between your camera and the subject. Maybe getting close to your subject and shoot with a wide angle, or stand further back and use a telephoto. Or use a telephoto close up and isolate maybe a small part of the composition which shows a graphic pattern or shape. Or get down low and create wonderful symmetrical images with some foreground interest. So next time you're taking a photograph, get that standard shot in the can first and then look for a different angle or a different perspective and see if you can come up with something even more creative. Thank you for tuning in to Master Your Photography's Tips and Techniques series. We hope you found this video useful and practical. Remember, each photo you take is a stepping stone towards becoming a better photographer. So, get out there and capture the world in your own unique way. Until next time, happy shooting.